welcome to the Noble House for Time with Tom. I know some of you are back in session up at the child care, and I hope sometime soon we can meet face to face for Time with Tom. But until then, uh, I have stories for you online, and I'm glad that you could join me online. Today we're talking about the story of the ascension. That's a big word, ascension. Uh, ascension is about going up. Ascension means to go up. Um, to ascend is to climb, maybe, or to go up like a set of stairs. Um, you might climb some stairs up to your bedroom and you're ascending those stairs. Or you might climb a mountain if you were a mountain climber. You might climb and go up the mountain, ascend up the mountain. And so we're talking about Jesus' ascension. He ascended into heaven. We say, as followers of Jesus, we say, um, Jesus died, Jesus rose, Jesus is coming again. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So we light our Christ candle in order to remember that. That Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And Jesus is alive, that he's present with us, just like the light is with us. We light the Jesus candle to remind us that Jesus says, when you hear my words, you're hearing my voice, and I'm with you, even though you can't see me. That's what the story of the ascension is about. We know Jesus is alive, and he's with us, but we can't see him. Forty days after Jesus had risen from the grave, he told his disciples, meet me on that special mountain. You know the place. I don't know what the name of that mountain is. I have some guesses, but we're not sure. We do know, though, that disciples knew where to go, and they joined Jesus on that mountain. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven disciples gathered at the mountain, and Jesus met them there. Jesus met them at the mountain. And he said, I have special instructions for you before you go. The disciples wanted to know, is the kingdom going to come in its fullness? Is now when you're going to make your kingdom uh, real? Is now when you're going to make everything new? And Jesus said, well, it's not for you to know the time for that to happen. But he said, I have a special job for you. Jesus said, I have a special job for all of my disciples. Just like I am the light of the world, I want you to be the light of the world. Jesus said, I have a special job for you to be my witnesses. That is, to tell people about me. To tell people the things that I did while I was with you. And to tell people the things that I said while I was with you to teach people what I have taught you. And Jesus said, but don't go and do that job just yet. You need special power for that job. You need a special gift that I'm going to give you. When I return to the Father, when I ascend, I'm then going to send you a special gift. And that special gift that I send will help you to do that job, to be my witnesses. And as Jesus was saying this, while he was giving those instructions to the disciples, he rose up from the earth, and he rose up into the sky, and he disappeared into the clouds. And the disciples wondered, what was happening? Where did Jesus go? Why did he 
ascend into heaven. Even though Jesus told them that he needed to go back to sit at the right hand of the Father, to sit on his throne in the heavenly places. And while they were looking up into the sky, two angels appeared. Maybe the same two angels who were at his tomb when the women came on resurrection morning. Angels are messengers. They always have a special word to tell God's people. And the angels said to the disciples, Why are you looking up into heaven? All confused and concerned. Don't you know that the Jesus who you saw go up into heaven is going to return in the same way. At just the right time, he's going to come back. I wonder how the disciples felt when Jesus ascended and went up into the clouds. I wonder what they thought about the special job that Jesus said he had for them. I wonder, I wonder when Jesus is coming back. If Jesus said, and the angel said that he's going to return, I wonder when that will be. I wonder how we can be witnesses just like the disciples. I wonder what I could tell someone about what Jesus said and what he did that would help them to know Jesus is alive. Let's say a prayer and let's pray that let's pray that God would give us that special gift so that we can be a light to the world and so that we can do the same job that the disciples had to be witnesses, to tell other people the good news that Jesus died, Jesus rose, and that Jesus is coming again. Echo pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for a special job Help us to be light. Help us to be witnesses. Help us to be faithful. We thank you that Jesus died for our sins. We thank you that Jesus rose victorious over the grave. And we thank you that Jesus going to return. Help us to trust and to be patient. In Jesus' name, amen. So we say that this is the great mystery of Easter and the mystery of Jesus' ascension. Jesus died, Jesus rose, Jesus ascended, and he's coming again. Remember that even though, even though Jesus isn't with us in a way that we can see him, remember that he still with us just the same. I'll see you next time. Stay well, stay safe, be blessed.